We have noses to smell, eyes to see, and ears to hear, right? Well, actually, your ears are responsible for much more than just hearing. In fact, they can even help you taste. And that's all thanks to what's inside. We think of ears as these flappy appendages that stick out of our heads. But the most important structures are actually on the inside. And they're known as the inner and middle ear. Inside your middle ear is the nerve that moves the muscles of your face. AKA the facial nerve. And if it becomes inflamed or injured, say from a nasty ear infection, you can lose control of the muscles in your face. But it could actually get worse. Now, along that facial nerve, there is a taste nerve. It's called corda tympani. That's right, the nerve for taste runs right through your middle ear. And if that nerve gets damaged, you could alter or even lose your sense of taste permanently. By the way, not only are your ears incredibly important for tasting food, but what you're listening to can also change your food's flavor. For example, research has shown that white noise can dull saltiness but enhance crunchiness. And in one study, volunteers perceived a dish to be eggier when they listened to the sound of clucking chickens. But whether it's the sound of chickens or my beautiful voice, it all enters your ear through the cochlea, a shell-like structure in the inner ear. Inside the cochlea, there are over 16,000 hair-like cells, which take vibrations entering your ear and convert them into nerve impulses. Those impulses travel to your brain, which turns them into the sound you hear. So if it weren't for those cells, you'd be deaf, which is why it's incredibly important that you keep them protected especially from menaces like bacteria, viruses, and even adventurous insects. And for that, your ear's best defense is earwax. Earwax is good. It is not bad to have earwax. That's right. You need that gross golden wax. It not only has antibacterial properties, but it's also downright sticky, helping to stop invaders right in their tracks. But earwax isn't the only part of your inner ear that keeps you healthy. So there is a tube made of muscle that connects the back of your nose and your ears. It's called the eustachian tube, and it helps equalize pressure between your ears and the atmosphere around you. Normally, the tube is sealed off, so nothing can travel between your ears and your throat, which keeps infections at bay. But when there's a change in pressure, like when you're taking off in an airplane, the air inside the tube expands, which typically makes you want to pop your ears. And that's a good thing, too, because popping your ears opens the tube and releases the air, balancing the pressure inside and out. Speaking of balance, there's one other incredibly important structure you can find inside your inner ear, the vestibular system. Kind of like a level, it controls your balance using a number of liquid-filled canals. Those balance canals are responsible for telling your body you are moving, whether it may be moving left to right or your body's moving up and down. As you move around, fluid in the canals sloshes against millions of hair-like structures called stereocilia. And this sends a signal to the brain where you process it as movement. That's why infections like the common cold can sometimes make you feel dizzy. They often cause inflammation in the vestibular nerve which distorts those signals. So the next time you find yourself walking without falling over, or tasting your food, or listening to, well, anything, think of your ears, which, as it turns out, have a lot more going on inside than out. <laughs>